what's going on guys. So today I want to talk, I want to make a video today for those of you who are looking to have your car wrapped. Now there are things that are very important to know when you're going to have your car wrapped and things to look out for, okay? So choosing the right shop is going to be very important or choosing the right person to wrap your car is going to be very important. important. Usually the best wrappers don't work for anybody, let's put it that way. They work for themselves. Hence why I can't find anyone to hire because all the best are working for themselves because it's way better business for them. And it doesn't matter if they're wrapping out of their house or if they're wrapping out of someone else's garage or if, they're, if they have a big fancy garage or if they have a dim lit, not a dim lit, but like a, a garage in a not so nice spot of the city. It doesn't matter. What matters is, the, is their ability at the shop to do a fantastic job and not destroy your car in the process of doing that. What you're going to want to do when you're looking for a wrap is find out if that shop is reputable or that person wrapping your car is reputable. Being able to contact people, maybe through their social media is, and cars that they're showing that they've wrapped is going to be important because that will be your best referral. Having a referral from someone who's never had their car wrapped by that shop is just completely pointless, first of all. Uh, so hence the ML63 that was here, that was not a good wrap and that was a referral. Referrals don't always, they're not always 100% uh, a great way to go about doing it. What you really want to do is actually see the car in person. Seeing cars in person, seeing their work in person is going to allow you to see for yourself what you can expect of that shop. Now, what does that shop charge based off of the skill level of their work? Are they charging you more than they should for something that's not good. The average price, let's say for like a coupe, starting out is about 2,500 bucks. That's an average price and it goes, basically goes up from there. It can go down. It, what's their skill level like? Is their skill level amazing? Then you're probably gonna go up because they're going to be able to make a few less seams the wrap's going to hold on a bit better for a bit longer and it's gonna be installed nicer. There's gonna be less or no contaminants underneath the wrap and it's just going to be better in the end. Uh, so if the price is higher, it, but if the price is higher, it doesn't always mean that the shop is better. Um, so obviously seeing the work in person is very important. Now let's talk about uh, credentials. So having uh, workshop certification by let's say Avery, 3M, Hexus, Vivid, whatever, is that should that be the reason why you choose a, choose a wrap shop? No. Hell no. It's not going to be with the reason why you're going to go with someone to wrap their car, wrap your car. You're going to go with someone to wrap your car who knows what they're doing. You're not going to go with someone to wrap your car who's been to a workshop but has wrapped like one car. It's not going to be a good idea who's charging $3,000 to wrap your car. Not a good idea. Again, if they have a big portfolio and it's only pictures and you can't see anything in person, that might be the only thing that you can go off of. If they've wrapped 100 cars and they all seem to look good in pictures, okay, maybe, maybe you, you're going to make a judgment call there. Again, it's always better to see it in person because I can tell you this much. I can wrap a car on purpose half terrible, let's say, and half amazing and take a picture of all the amazing spots and leave out all the terrible ones and all my pictures on social media or my portfolio will look great. And that's, that's uh, something that anyone can hide or do. Any wrap shop can do that, any installer can do that. So being able to see the wrap in person again is gonna be the most important thing. Secondly, getting a referral from someone who's had their car wrapped by that shop is the next most important thing. And then third, you can, you can maybe use a judgment call to go off of the pictures that you've seen in their portfolio. Videos can be done by the shop to like up close videos. I, I tend to do a lot of those and you know, my YouTube obviously shows my, uh, my ability up close, as close as up close as I can usually do it, and, and I don't hide anything. So I think that's probably a reason why people come in and they trust me. Now, are there other wrap shops out there who are, do great work? Of course, but don't judge a book by its cover. Just because they have some big, fancy, shiny, clean, amazing-looking shop that has like Lamborghinis and Ferraris coming in all the time doesn't mean anything. I've seen Lamborghini and Ferrari wraps that look horrible. Okay, so they're not. Just because the shop is putting out high-end cars doesn't also mean that they wrap cars well. On top of that, this is a very high-risk industry. So 
you don't want to spend thousands of dollars to have your car destroyed. Having your car destroyed by, and spending thousands of dollars, you're just going to be kicking yourself in the butt. It's, and, and things like that actually lower the industry. It, it brings the industry down when things like that happen. They happen, I think, more often than not, which is really unfortunate. Cutting on paint is extremely easy to do. I mean, like, very convenient. So, because it's less convenient to go and get the knifeless tape and then set yourself up and then use the knifeless tape. Do installers have to take a uh, blade to the paint? Of course they will have to. Every shop will have to take a, paint, a blade to the paint at some point. Now when I say a blade to the paint, I don't mean actually directly to the paint, I mean to the wrap on the paint. How their skill level is or how good their skill level is will determine if they know how to cut that vinyl without causing damage to the paint underneath the vinyl. I know I've cut vinyl many, 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 many times without cutting through to the next surface underneath. Practicing that is very important. So again, have, has anyone complained about cuts in their paint from that shop? Find out, do some research, ask around. If you're local to the shop, it's, you're gonna be able to find out information that's not, gonna be, that's not gonna be a hard thing to do. Now, another thing to look out for is, or to look for is, and this is more so for your convenience, is the variety of brands that they offer. Do they offer one brand, Avery? Do they offer two brands, Avery and 3M? Most shops will offer just Avery and 3M. To me, extremely limiting. Um, you know, Avery is the easiest film in the world to use. It is by far the easiest film in the world to use. And for those of you who use it all the time, I'm not trying to offend you, it's just, it is the easiest film in the world to use, and I love using it. When I get an Avery, an Avery job, I'm just like, this is amazing. There is down, so there's downfalls to Avery, so Avery is very thin. It's great for the installer to use, but it offers very, very, very little protection to the paint because of how thin it is. You now, there are brands, then you go, up to, you go up to 3M, it's thicker, Hexus is thicker, Oracle is thicker, Vivid is thicker, everything's thicker than, than, than Avery. Avery is the thinnest, and it offers very little protection. Now, from the other brands, each one of those will also vary in thickness and microns and how thick they are as well. So you can do some research into that and find out how many microns thick each film is. That will also determine the ability of paint protection. So what I, what I like about wraps is that they can offer great paint protection. Even though Avery is thin, it will offer paint protection. It will offer Paint protection from the sun, from UV fading, so that the wrap will fade instead of the sun. Small swirl marks, scratching, that kind of stuff. Some, some stone chips, but again, it won't hold up to that many stone chips. Like even little specks will start to cause a lot of damage to Avery over time. They have great color selection, but again, it's very limited. You know, they have maybe 70, 80 colors. 3M, 70, 80 colors. Vivid, 70 or 80 colors. Texas had a whole ton. Uh, KPMF has a bunch. Oracle, APA, again, these are things that you're going to want to uh, look for in the shop. Can the shop install anything? Amazing if they can. If they don't, if they're going to say you want KPMF, you want Oracle, or you want any brands that they trust in, or any trusting brand, let's say for example, I don't trust no-name brand film. So don't go out there and try and get some no-name brand film. It's not, if, a, if you find a shop that's going to install it, it doesn't really say that much about them in my opinion. That's just my opinion because there's no way you can guarantee the durability or the longevity of the wrap when it's a no-name film. When it's not a brand that's been around for years, let's say. There are a lot of new brands coming into the market, believe me, and a lot of them have no name. Um, you know, CYS was one of those things that I had never used before. I used the film, it's actually been good. So, but you don't know and you take a risk. I won't install films that have absolutely no name that I've never heard of before or never seen any rap jobs in. So again, that's very important. So it's also very important to know that they care about their, their workmanship. Now, I just had the Jeep Track, track Hawk here and Track Hawk here that was wrapped in the Nebula Black, Demon Black. Um, and I had to rewrap the antenna. I had to rewrap a small section on the spoiler. And I just went over the car and cleaned it up. And I back up my work 100%. I'm a human being. I make mistakes. To go out there and say that your rap shop who doesn't make mistakes is a load of lies. Everyone has something that comes back eventually. Uh, so having a rap shop that actually backs up their work is important. So 
you can also ask around. You know, if the person had issue with their app and, you've, and they said that they have, but then they say, oh yeah, but they fixed it. Amazing, that's amazing. Like, that's what you want. Because car manufacturers, for example, why do you think they offer warranties? They offer warranties because they know that the car could fail. At any given time, something on the car could fail. Why are there recalls? Why are there all, those, all these things? Again, and we're talking about billion dollar companies here, and we're just, and we're just little rap shops. So in, in comparison, you know, we're going to make mistakes. But, and are we going to back it up? Of course, if I scratch the paint with my blade, I'm gonna repaint whatever it is. If I break a mirror, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a new mirror. Whatever it is, I'm gonna make sure that that car is always 100%, or as close to 100% as possible. At least, at, at the very least, the way it came into the shop. There are no broken clips, there are no missing screws, there are no uh, cuts in the paints, and the wrap is installed up to the highest standard possible. Again, that might take a couple of times to rewrap an antenna. Let's say I had to rewrap the antenna. No big deal. I could have done, so I did the antenna a different way. Now, will the antenna hold up? I hope so, because I, I tried a different technique. But could it come back again? Sure. Will I fix it again? Sure, I will. Is it inconvenient for you as a customer? Sure, I get it. It can happen. Uh, again, you want to make sure that, you know, if something does happen that you're not happy with your wrap, that that shop is there to fix that wrap for you. Again, credentials are not the way you should be judging a wrap shop. 3M preferred literally means nothing, especially if they have no experience wrapping. Could I go out there and pass a test after a month or two? Sure. It's not, it just depends on how quickly you learn. Maybe they've taken the course already three or four times, but, and they haven't even wrapped a car yet. And then they finally passed it because of just trial and error and learning how, what they're testing on. And again, it's, that, that is, that doesn't say much about someone. So finding the work and seeing it in person, very important, guys. I hope that this video is informative to those of you who are looking for a wrap because I see a lot of people out there who are very unhappy with their wraps. I get a lot of pictures daily on wraps from other shops and I want people to understand what they should be looking for. Is the wrap going to be 100% perfect? No, if you're super picky, please don't get a wrap because it's, it's can only be so perfect. It is a sticker on a car. But there is a standard where there is carelessness and then there is people who care. And the people who care and the people who are carelessness are going to be in two different categories when it comes to installing the wrap. Could they be in the same shop together? Of course. That's why you're going to want to make sure you talk to the person who's doing the wrap on your car. And like I said, a fancy shop doesn't mean anything. I know great installers who are wrapping out of the garage at home still, and they're very busy. They work for themselves. They don't work for me. They work for themselves because of their skill level and how good they are. It's just not, it's not, they can't, there's not a shop out there that can pay them enough to work for them. When, I, you know, when I'm charging $150 an hour, that's, that's a lot. I, to expect the same skill from someone else as I have, I'd have to pay them $150 an hour. So that means I would have to charge $300 an hour. That's a lot of money now. Now we're starting into a lot of money. So it, it becomes difficult when, uh, when you're in this industry. And again, having, talking to that one person who's wrapping your car is going to be important. It's definitely worth the drive. It's definitely worth checking out. It's worth the investigation. Don't take your car to someone, spend thousands of dollars, and have them butcher it. Please do your research. Uh, if you found this video informative and helpful, uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, I do have a new wrap channel. It's not a wrap channel, a disassembly channel. Yeah, I'll put it in the description below. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching, everyone. Take care.